What's your comfort movie? Ghostbusters. We're ready to believe you. The Titanic just pulled in. Well, better late than never. Ray when someone asks you if you are a god, you say yes. Galaxy Quest. R.I.P. Alan Rickman. Never give up never surrender. By Grab Tars Hammer. What a savings. Jurassic Park. Same. I have watched it about two dozen times so far. Never get dull. Edit, I'm sorry I haven't watched it 5000 times already. I will do better. Yeah this is my all time favorite movie. It reminds me of being a kid and obsessed with dinosaurs. Bit of a random one but twister. As a Brit I love the small town America vibe and how the gang all get on. Bill Paxton is a legend. You know the drive-in theater that gets hit by the tornado in that movie? That's the drive-in I grew up watching movies at. Including the movie Twister. I was in grade school when they were filming it in my hometown and it was crazy to get to go watch it and experience screen section like that. As an American who lives in Tornado Alley, that movie never fails to provide the exact fucking opposite of comfort. Monsters Incorporated. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. The old animated Mulan smile. Musical notes, let's get down to business. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure is bliss. Triumphant guitar lick. I just watched Bill and Ted's movies last week for the first time, and I kept thinking, this movie is so silly, and I couldn't stop watching, it was great. Toy Story. Shaun of the Dead. Do you want anything from the shop? Makes me just want to go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. Back to the future. Love how Marty cannot just play music. Always has to go bananas. Him playing at the ball where his parents kiss for the first time is great. Chuck, this is your cousin Marvin. I think I have that new sound you're looking for, listen to this. No matter what mood I'm in, that shot of Doc Brown dancing and yelling in the street at the end always puts a dumbass smile on my face. Office Space. That movie is brilliant but I can only watch it every so often. It's too depressingly accurate. Michael, I did nothing, and it was everything I thought it could be that line really resonates with me. Shows how taking it easy can really be a special experience. Pirates of the Caribbean. You will always remember this as the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow also one of my faves. Will Turner, this is either madness. Or brilliance. Jack Sparrow, it's remarkable how often those two traits coincide. Love that scene. The Brendan Fraser Mummy movie. Makes me feel like I'm eight all over again. You mean the 1999 cinematic masterpiece The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz? Despite how bad the third movie was I still enjoyed it because of Brendan. Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein. Also, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Mel Brooks just calms me. I watched Robin Hood Men in Tights a thousand times as a kid. I know every line, every inflection of their voices, every breath and I still laugh as hard as the first time I saw it. Candy Graham for Mongo. Princess Bride. Clue for me. Just pure fun and mystery and something I've watched a million times, based off a game I played a billion times with my dad. Even when I wasn't talking to him I could fall back on Clue to watch. Oh and also Mama Mia. I hated her. So, much. I ate the it, flamed, flames, flames, on the side of my face, breathing, breath, heaving breaths, heaving. Clue is mine too. Just never get so old, and I'm in love with Tim Curry. I'm not shouting. Hook. Or basically anything with Robin Williams from my childhood edit. This thread made me feel so nostalgic that I'm on Robin Williams 90s movies binge now. Thanks guys. Finally rewatched Hook a month ago, first time seeing it since I was maybe 13 to 14. 
It's just wonderful. I can't believe it was panned back then because the scale of the bigger scenes, the good cry feels, Smee in his entirety, they're all just great. The Naked Gun When I see five weirdos dressed in tuggers stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of 100 people, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. We're here to celebrate Frank's 12th drug dealer kill well to be fair the last two I just backed over in my car, they later turned out to be drug dealers. Matilda. Best Danny DeVito role ever. The kid that gets flown around the schoolyard and back into the classroom was my college buddy, Liam. Good guy. Haven't talked to him in ages. Wally. I love Wally. And one of the reasons why I love it so much is that there's barely any dialogue for the majority of the movie. And yet, you understand what's going on. When I first watched it, my English was still bad so it felt great that I could still follow the storyline without having to read the subtitles or watch the dubbed version. E Virginia there's something so sweet about robot love. While you were sleeping I know all the lines but still laugh every time. These mashed potatoes are so creamy. I didn't say he was tall I said he was Cuban. Elsie is the queen. My mom and I can't eat mashed potatoes without saying, these mashed potatoes are so creamy. I don't drink any more, I don't drink any less either. The Road to El Dorado. I comforted the fuck out to this last night. Music by Elton John really seals the deal. Finding Nemo. Oh brother where art thou? I can watch it anytime and be happy. We thought you was a talent. We. Thought. You. Was. A toad. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's so vindicating to see a fuck school movie. Mean Girls. Um, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. Made out with a hot dog? Oh my god, that was like one time. Oh my god. Danny Divto, I love your work. 101 Dalmatians and Tangled. Disney movies just make me feel warm and safe. Came here to see if Tangled was mentioned smile. Howl's Moving Castle. My first thought. Howl's and Kiki's. The Devil Wears Prada. I rewatch it every time I get sick. Are you just one stomach flu away from your goal weight? I lost count of how many times I've seen this film. Ratatouille? That movie is the equivalent of a warm hug. When I visited the Disney store in NYC two years ago, the only thing I wanted was a Remy plush. I looked around the whole store and couldn't find any Ratatouille themed items except for a cutting board and some salt and pepper shakers. I asked an employee where I could find Remy, and they said they don't carry any Remy plush figures at all. But of course they had two bins full of March of the Penguins plush toys. March of the goddamn Penguins. I watched it for the first time the other day. Why did it take me so long it was great. Depending on my mood, either my cousin Vinny or Pride and Prejudice, 2005. For me, it's my cousin Vinny and the 1995 BBC miniseries of Pride and Prejudice. The 2005 movie is nice too, especially if I don't have the time to invest in the miniseries. The score is lovely. Yes. For comfort the 2005 version is where it is at. The music and cinematography are breathtaking. I also love the casting, even if it isn't Colin Firth. A League of Their Own. There's no crying in baseball. Subscribe for more hot Reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.